Hey everybody, this is Sharon, also known as the Accidental Art Maker. Welcome to this episode or this tutorial of how to make some resin frames. This is the list of materials. I am not an expert in resin art, so you should definitely read the instructions on the box that you get for the slow drying resin. Um, and if you decide to use fast resin also, you should, you should definitely read the directions for that. With IOD molds, it's all about the detail of the molds that make these so amazing to work with. You really want to pay attention to where you are pouring your mold and the colors. Full disclosure, I have never gotten out tweezers and plucked away at stuff on my art before, but these, these molds just call for it. Okay, so here we are with a very important part of this tutorial, which is clear resin. I am not adding any tint to this center area because I want it to be see-through. Notice how I use the popsicle stick to make sure that the resin is spread from corner to corner and every inch is filled in. Time for the hot pink. I love turquoise and gold and I was looking for an, a color that I also like that would make this really fun and I don't know, bouncy. Pink was it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I am not an expert on resin. I am figuring this up and making it up as I go along, loving resin, but there's a, there's a big learning curve along the way here. What you're seeing me do here is something I learned from my teenage daughter and her friends, which is taking a toothpick and drawing the resin around so that while it, it looks like it's filled in everything, you're really making sure it's gone into every crevice, every crack, um, and eat, not even on around the outline, but also underneath all those details in the mold, you wanna make sure that they are filled in. I'm using a piece from the Brocant transfer here. I've been dying to do this. Just check it out. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I'm just kind of going for it and seeing what happens. And this is my attitude in art. Thank you. 
I was so relieved when this worked out. I honestly had no idea if this was going to stick to the resin and if it was going to work out. Again, not a resin expert. I'm figuring it out and I'm learning along the way. What I learned here was I did not make enough resin. I needed to make some more, more white resin. So that's what you're seeing happen here. Okay, what better learning opportunity than the back of a big frame with resin? What can I do here? What can I learn? How can I explore? How can I create? How can I experiment to understand the full capacity of this? I'm not done yet. I still need to call out some details in this amazing frame. So I'm adding gilding wax, gold gilding wax, which is a different tint from what the resin is in the background. Okay, so I loved this frame with the way it was when it popped out of the mold. But I still wanted to call out more details because, you know, details, cowbells, and I add some building wax here, not 100% sold on it. What I ended up doing with this frame and the gilding wax was uh, wiping it, it on and seeing where it was clumping up too much. There's like so much amazing detail in this frame. Gilding wax caught it all and it actually hindered the, the details. So I wiped a lot back to make sure that all the details could be seen. I used my fingernails, I used baby wipes, I used my shirt, I used a lot of things to wipe back the wax here and wasn't shy about it.
Okay, I love the square frame with the brocant transfer in it. Um, it's a little bit fuzzy when you look at it compared to the rest of the frame, but I'm okay with it being like this blurry, wonderful image in the background. Um, I don't need a sharp image in there because the frame itself has so much stuff going on that your eye does eventually come to the transfer in the middle and relax. And I love that. The one on the right, I, I don't know what to do with it next. To tell you the truth, I want to put a big S in it for Sharon. I thought about a clown face, but I'm really not sure what I want to do.